Hey guys, Master Rolf here, coming at you with a new video, and today something a little bit different, to be honest. Now, since we stopped doing Clash of Clans, and we wait for them to hopefully let us do some more Clash of Clans videos again, and carry that on, you said, of. Why don't you find a game that is so much like Clash of Clans, but not? Maybe even better, or maybe even worse. Now, I spent about three hours last night trying to find some games, and the games I found were shocking. They were embarrassingly bad. If I put them on my channel, I would, like, have to explode or something, because they were so bad. They were either exactly the same, but just really hard to play, or so bizarre, so confusing. I had no idea what the hell I was doing. Until I came across this game. So this is Total Conquest by Gameloft. Now Gameloft have always been a bit iffy with games. But this one is actually pretty solid. I read a review about it initially saying. If you like Clash of Clans but you want something extra. This is the game for you. So I was like alright. That's exactly what I'm after. So come at me bro. What have you got for me? And I downloaded it and I've started playing it. And I've played it probably 3-4 hours this morning. And I'm totally hooked. I'm really thoroughly enjoying this game. I'm going to show you some stuff about it. Now, we are a pretty low level. We're level 12. Uh, I've bought some, like, coins or in-game in gems um, to uh, kind of boost forward and see what it's like a little bit later stage. I've thoroughly enjoyed what I've played. Not only do the girls come across here and actually run across the walls. I don't know if you saw that, but the girls in this game... Look! Look at her! What is she doing? She literally runs across the walls. The game is really active, really vibrant, it runs well, it's smooth. You can do this, which is pretty nice. You can get a different angle on the game. Uh, and it does have some aspects that I've always wanted in, for example, Clash of Clans, uh, or in Boom Beach, or in any game like that, but have never been there. So, welcome to my village in Total Conquest. You can see, like I said, I'm a low level, but we're doing pretty well. Now, there's some really cool stuff in here. Here's my barracks. You can hear them, like, they fight, uh, and there's so much movement. But what we might as well do, let's go do an attack, because that is all we care about, is attacking. Um, so, do I, I don't have any defenses, I don't think, to show you. I don't have any defenses to show you, but I can show you an attack. Now, when you go on to attack, you have four different things. You have the campaign, which is just like single-player missions. You have conquest, where you can go and take over Europe, which is pretty quite cool. Cool idea. You have start legion war, which a legion is like a clan. I've actually made my legion. So, if you guys want to come and join me in my legion, I don't know how I get to show you what it's called. Um, I, I literally don't know how. Oh, here it is. Uh, there's my legion. It is called of YouTube because when I put in master, this is just hilarious. When I put in master in this game, it comes up as a swear word. It says, this is not allowed in our game. You are not master. You are not allowed this. And it puts like asterisks. It's like you can't do that. But for some reason, they've allowed the master of as my name. I don't know why, but feel free to come and join me on of YouTube is the name of the legion. And there's only me in it. I'm really lonely at the moment. Okay, so let's go and do an attack. This is the single... Sorry, this is the multiplayer map. I mean, look at that. That's so freaking cool. That's a really cool photo. Now, we've got completely different troops on this. Uh, but the style of attacking is pretty similar. This looks like a really hard base. I'm probably going to die. I've hardly attacked anybody. And this looks really, really hard. Um, you know what? Should we just give it a go? So you have your troops down the bottom. You then have po- Oh my god, watch this potion. Watch this potion. So, you pick a potion. This is raining fire of balls of fire. You put it down and watch this. Literally destroyed everything. It was insane. But that looks like a witch or something coming out to try and get me. Let's throw in our units and see what we can do. So these are like the standard units. These are what you start off with. Let's send them in. We've got some minotaurs. Um, we've got that thing. So th those are gods. The things, the two things I've just thrown in there are gods. The rest are just normal troops. Let's go back onto our potions. Uh, they've got four seconds cooldown. We're going to wait, we're going to wait, we're going to wait. And we're going to use one more of these huge blasts on everything over there. Look at that. That's insane. Taking this base down. So in come the troops. Uh, these guys are like super powerful over here. I'm running this on my old iPad, so there might be a little bit of lag. We've got the 50%, so we get a one star. Look at them coming down. This guy, the guy at the back, when he shoots his arrow, it hits everything. So it doesn't stop. It just carries on going, and it hits all of them. We've got the two star, 69% giggity, and we're pushing forward. We might get a three. Look at this guy. Look at him sprinting across. And just taking them down. They go for the defenses. And that looks like that is going to be about it. We have destroyed this base. Granted, we used two of the best spells in the game. Well, the best spell in the game. 
uh, but we've gone through and wrecked it. But you can see the animations are smooth, uh, it's pretty, it's easy to navigate, you can get that little bit of a different angle on it, and there we go. We win our first battle, boys and girls, that is amazing. No! Low battery! Ah, oh, no, low battery. So we deployed 28 units, we killed that one witch weird thing, and we destroyed 48 buildings. Alright, let's go back home and have a look around. So people do attack you. Um, oh, we leveled up! Yes, level 13. Look at that. Level 13 for the win. Uh, and you do level up and stuff. There's loads of stuff you can buy as well. Currently, there's a promotion on, and this promotion lasts only 330 days. So you need to get on this and get this promotion. That's ridiculous. That's just like for life, basically. Anybody can, anybody can have that. Uh, but you can see we've got the resources which you can buy with the credits, which actually cost money. Then you've got your military. Uh, so this is your barracks, your legion, which is like your clan. The barracks of God, which were those awesome things I had. Oh, that's the thing that we attacked. The statue of Bologna allows you to summon the guardian of Bologna. Should we buy that? Let's get that. We have enough for it. Yes, baby. We've now got this, this witch weird thing. We should really put you in the base because you're going to be pretty powerful, I can assume. Let's put her in there. Uh, this thing as well, when somebody attacks you, this comes to life. This comes to life, it stands up, and oh, I'll have to attack someone and find it, but it's insane. Like, what, what you can do with that is amazing. Alright, what else have we got? So, we've still got a statue of Mars, which I guess Mars will come and help you and attack. We've got some defenses we can buy. So we've got a few of them. You've got archers, tormentors, scorpios, uh, military where Oh, that's quite cool. I'll tell you about that in a second. You've got all your walls. You've got gates as well, which is quite interesting. Uh, traps and a alchemical al track. I have no idea. But this is quite cool. So this is, uh, in theory, a clan castle. But what you do is you actually put the stuff you want in there. So you put your troops in there. They come out and defend you. They can't jump over walls, I don't believe. Which is why you have the gates. Now, our troops can go through the gates. But other troops can't. So they can't attack through the gates. Which is quite cool. Well, look at that. Look at that guy walking around. So much swag. So let's get some troops ready for the next battle. Uh, you can upgrade your troops as well. So you can see like this guy. I've upgraded him. He's now level 1, which is quite nice. Um, let's go in here. Uh, we've got some of these dudes. We've got loads of people, basically. And um, we're just going to fill them up like so. Let's finish that off so we can go in for another attack. And then this here is the Barracks of Gods. Now, there's only four gods available at the moment. There's this dude up here, which is the Centaur. Uh, he has that, like, bow. I don't know why I did that. It's like... Uh, he has the bow, and he also has that little ability. Uh, but once you level up to level five, you can then do extra abilities like you can for the Barbarian King, Archer Queen. Uh, you can do that as well. And that's the Minotaur, who looks insane, and he does splash damage himself. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go out and have a look at this conquest. I haven't looked at it yet, um, and we're going to go see what we can do here and see what the conquest kind of does. It explains it all there, uh, but I'm not even going to read it. I literally didn't even read it. So, let's search for a conquest. We can join a conquest, and here we go. So, we are taking over Europe here. We could go up there and try and take out um, the United Kingdom, which is obviously where I live. I live... I'll show you guys. I live, you see where that kind of um, indent is there? I live like just there, roughly. I mean, that's not a quite an accurate map, but you know. <laughs> so, uh, red team are there. We can go and attack up these territories. So let's go for three. Uh, and let's go see if we can get three conquest rewards. The Minotaur strikes fear into the human's heart. If you encounter one in battle, you better attack from a distance. That is true, because he does, uh, he does splash damage. So, let's have a look. Oh, this is an interesting base. Let's go for it and take it down. So again, we're going to spawn in our fat guys to start off with, uh, just to let them in. Followed by them, and then in go two Minotaurs, who you do not want to mess with, and then go in those two troops. Now we have a flurry of potions here, uh, and what you can do with potions is you can actually use them in-game, so you don't have to like pre-do them. They do cost credits, uh, but you can, you can use them. So for example, this, that will heal up my troops, we'll put that in, and they will stay nicely healed up. And let's let them go in and tear up this base. Hopefully they'll win. Uh, some of them are struggling a little bit. So let's go. You do need a kind of stronger iPad to play this game. Because it is quite graphically intense. Uh, especially once you get loads of people in there. So you will require some extra stuff. Uh, playing on an old iPad here. It lags a little bit. But not actually that bad to be honest. Uh, but in they go. Look at that archer tower destroying my troops. But they get destroyed first. The Minotaur... 
Uh, no, these are centaurs, actually, going around the outside, tearing through the base. And that looks like we're going to win. Now, one thing I love on this game, I literally, when I saw this, my heart was like, you did it. You listened to us. Is this button here. That speeds it up by two, and it just speeds it up by two. Nothing extra, nothing hard. You can speed it up, you can let them attack and try and get the win, and you don't have to worry about any stupid like anything you just like all right we can now finish it let's speed it up by two and it will speed it up by two so i don't know why other games haven't implemented that but they haven't i mean look that's the difference so instead of them walking slowly they sprint over and take it all down and we get that final building and get the hundred percent so that worked really well for us we got the kill we got the uh, points and that's our first conquest ever Con uh, casting this potion will make the move and attack much faster Okay, so I guess that's like a, a rage, kind of raging them up a little bit. But there we go. So we took out a base. We got some conquest stuff for us. I'm not 100% sure how this works yet, but it's pretty cool that you get put into groups uh, and then you go out and attack and you try and conquest as much as you can. I'm sure you'll battle each other at some stage as well, but that's a really cool concept um, that I've never seen before. So I was really, really happy when I read about that. So you have Legion War, which is kind of like a Legion versus a Legion. We've all seen that before, uh, but that's good fun to do. And then you have the campaign. Which consists of a load of levels, uh, just like a, a, any single player campaign would. You can see it goes all the way down here, uh, and there's absolutely tons. I haven't really delved into this yet, uh, but I feel it's going to be very easy if I go and try it now. I think I only have one troop, but that... Oh no, I do have a lot of troops. I have loads of troops. Oh, okay. Uh, because, like, for example, this one here, it only has one enemy. Oh no, look, so out come the troops from uh, the... Barrack Castle, whatever you want to call it there. Uh, should we just send in one Minotaur? It's like, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to kill everybody. <laughs> there we go. He just wipes the floor with everybody and just destroys this base. Let's throw in a few more guys over here and let them go to work. So again, we can change the angle. We can go straight above if you want to go straight above. Some people might like that. Or we can take it low and take it from a completely different approach. It looks a little bit weird like that. Uh, I like to keep it kind of roughly there, but it's quite be nice to be able to do. You can see the outside is very similar. It's just the edge of the base. And there we go. Another victory. So, as you can see, this game gets super addictive. You can also boost all your barracks. You can boost your, uh, uh, your whatever they're called, the barracks of the gods as well, which is pretty cool, pretty nice. Uh, so, you can have lots of troops come out. We need to get some more ready. And then it has other things. I haven't even gone into everything yet that I want to, so we've still got quite a while to go. Uh, let's boost up these barracks, just so everybody gets readied up. Uh, you boost them there. It costs 10 credits to boost, so it's not it's not too expensive. Um, and anyway, what was I going to show you? Yeah, so there's more bits to it. This here is the temple. So what the temple does is you can increase the attack uh, for the next 24 hours. You can basically buy extra stuff that for X amount of time, if you offer them enough uh, food or enough gold, they will do. So you can do it for your defense as well. So if you're trying to push, uh, trying to get really high up the levels, you can boost these. I accidentally boosted Brick of Vesta, which increases the hit points of towers by 15% for 24 hours. Not sure if that's going to help me at all, but I, I did it. Uh, and then you can also boost production as well. And there's loads of stuff here once you upgrade your temple. So there's lots of stuff to go into with this game. Uh, bits that I haven't even figured out myself yet. But this is the main hub of the game. This here is your city hall. It's level 6 at the moment. If you want to upgrade anything, you've really got to upgrade that first. But as you can see, it's so lively. Like, there's stuff going on. And I've noticed this. Look. There's actual animals in the forest. Yes! Look, we've got a reindeer or, or just a normal deer. I'm not 100% sure, but it just kind of stands there and does some cool stuff, uh, which is quite nice to see. I think there's more. We've got a waterfall as well. We've got a bear up here. you got to watch out for that bear because he he's a dangerous mofo. You don't want to get in the way of him. Uh, and then we've got another bear down there, actually. We've got a fountain, and then we've got the sea, uh, which is very, very familiar. Anyway, let's go out and do another live Raid here. Look at that. You can unlock stuff like that. I mean, that is swag on like a completely other level. Some of the stuff I've seen on this is insane. So, we know that Bella blah, 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 Tower or whatever she's called attacks us. So, that's going to be interesting to watch. But we've got some centaurs. We've got that guy that flings the bow and everything. So, I think we have a good chance on this one. Let's send out our troops first just in case they have any traps. Now, it looks pretty safe. All right. So, we're going to send in all of our troops here. Uh, send them all into the corner. Send in those two. Look how she comes. Oh, oh, she just one shot him. No, girl, what are you doing? What are you doing? Right, go in, everybody. Go in. Take her down. 
Take it down. Take down that witch weird thingy. There you go. She's dead. We're moving forward. We're working on the city hall there. Uh, but she casts a spell on our troops. You can see them there. They were kind of frozen in air, which is pretty strange. But let's have a look at some other potions that we can do. So we've got health potions. We've got uh, fire. Oh, sweet. Fire. Look at that. And that burns stuff. This is something I asked for on the other game was can we have it where it burns? And when it burns, it actually does damage. And this does it. This does some of the stuff I've been asking for, and it's really pretty cool. I think I went a little bit overkill on this raid. I've got minute, uh, centaurs and everything just like roaming around and destroying this guy's base. I definitely went a little bit overkill, overkill here. Uh, but as you can see, so that was what I was talking about, about the arrows. You can see the arrows affect buildings behind it because they kind of shoot through, uh, which is pretty cool. And the rest of our troops are just going in now and going to tear up this final building. And there we go, another 100%. So, we're going to go do one more raid. We're going to go try and find a hard base. Uh, and we're going to bring with us, like, a load of gods. And hopefully the gods will be able to destroy. And we'll have a really good raid to finish off. Sadly, I don't have any defenses to show you. Uh, because, well, solely because nobody's actually attacked me yet. So, we've still got a while for people to attack me. Uh, but, we should be able to go and do a really cool attack. So, we've got 46 out of 46. Oh, no, we haven't. We've got 42 out of 46. Let's ready those up. Now we've got 46 out of 46. Let's go find a battle. Let's go find a big base. Something hard. Something that we probably wouldn't be able to take out. Maybe. That could be quite interesting. But I'm not 100% sure. Oh, yeah. Look at this one. Look at this one. Oh, so I can show you what this thing does. This thing over here is incredible. Watch this. You ready? Ow. Oh, no. 5%. Go for it. As soon as he starts attacking it. Oh, it's not even doing it. What's going on? It's not doing anything. He destroyed it. What? My god, this guy's... Maybe that was being built or something. I have no idea, but I was not expecting that. Right, let's have a one-on-one -on -one over here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. oh you, you just died. Where's she going? Where are you going, girl? Oh, I think she's going around to attack the other guy. Oh, man, she's strong. Okay. So, should we attack? Let's attack from kind of the bottom here. Uh, we're going to send in our troops. I can send that. Oh, I can spawn in mine. Wicked. We can have a guardian off. That's going to be intense. So, let's spawn in some of our uh, heroes or gods or whatever. And let's spawn in ours. Oh, look at that. We're literally having a big battle. Oh, that's going to be insane. Who's going to win? I have no idea. I'm going to chuck that in there as well. Boom. See what I mean? This game's intense. Some of the stuff you can do in here is pretty insane. Uh, our girl won as well. This is a hell of an attack we've got going on here. We are destroying this base. Tearing it up. Our girl as well is going in and doing jobs, which is insane. I'm, I, I don't know. I'm just really enjoying this right now. This game is really taking a liking to me. And I hope you guys quite like it as well. I've never delved into other games like this because I've never, I've never, had to, like, never needed to. I'm just like, I might as well play that. Let's try another spell. Throwing on a building marks it for your troops. Okay, so that's kind of like a flare. Uh, we've got bees. Oh, what? We've got loads of bees. The bees come out and take out buildings. Oh, no, they don't. They just go for troops. So they just go... So if you have a load of enemy troops come out of you, you can throw a spell of bees and the bees will take them out. So that is it, guys. That is Total Conquest. What do you think? What do you think about this kind of game? It's actually pretty good. It's, I mean, we all love... The Clash of Clans and the way it works. Uh, but this is quite good that it shows there are other games out there very similar that do something better. And so far, I haven't found something that this doesn't do as well as Clash. So it's quite interesting to think. Leave a like down below. Let's see if we can get this over like three, 4,000 likes. That would be insane. Uh, and comment what you think down below as well. And if there's any other games that you like that is very similar to this. So yeah, that's it. Until next time, guys. Thank you for watching. Peace out.